evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. Coming up on tonight's bulletin, poor cotton prices threaten the survival of Gokwe's farmers. A new San community group aims to halt the erosion of their cultural heritage. A gospel singer returns home after eight years in the musical wilderness. And in sport, it's the end of the annual sports 2020 cricket tournament. Cotton prices are threatening the livelihoods of farmers in Gokwe who depend heavily on the crop for their survival. Our reporter Muchaneta Chimuka went to Gokwe to find out more. Arimi Tipe Kanavarimi wedonje waka sapiwa mtengo irinani, chiringwa ichi chichare gets kwa kurimwa shinu shinoko na kudere za marie kunze ino pinda muno. Vanu vajinji kuko kwa vanu ramane kurima donje, uya nyanjizi noti nyea ii kasakaziris kwa upenyu wevanu mnjimbo ii unogo na kuipisisa. Dini mtorwe na we ATV, ndiri kuko kwe Zimbabwe. Concerned by the erosion of their cultural heritage, the San community has set up a cultural group to conserve and preserve their rich cultural practices which date back to the Stone Age. Crispin Tavura reports. <laughs> A group of 20 some people, popularly known as Abisikeli, have established a dance group ahead of the opening of a cultural center in Yamini later this year. The group Lompandi Tree is made up of 12 female and 8 male dancers. ATV captured Lompanda Tree dance group in action during practice at Espanen in Kaunajina area recently. community is also grooming their children in traditional arts with assistance from the Creative Arts and Education Development Association, an organization which seeks to uplift the living standards of marginalized people. Lompanda Tree's type of dance is called Borotri and leaders of the group were upbeat about their project.
ndi budi lena swi sava ava vano tama ma group avo ku nde mbiri ku tama ku dya chose lele si the director spoke about the support they are giving to the community to ba sa zwi tala vele bona ba be phila ngoku zingela be phila ngoku hamba e gangeni be dinga dinga izinto konke lokho ka kusekho ukuzela bo ba be lempilo engcono kuzomela ukuthi labo baqale izinto zona leza ma projects afana nawo nala ma performing arts the opening of the cultural center will help preserve the rich cultural practices of the san community and chris pentabra reporting for atv in jamini zimbabwe A local gospel artist who had gone underground in South Africa for eight years has returned home to revive his musical career. Jairo Saunyama went to meet him. Gospel musician Alexander Zinyongo, whose music was popular in the late 90s before he went to South Africa, has returned after an eight-year sabbatical. Zinyongo, who is well known for his popular songs Munondo and Rio Ramoses, has marked his return with a new album titled Gospel Hour, which is enjoying popularity on the local gospel charts. ATV caught up with the husky voiced musician in the capital who narrated how he quit music before going to South Africa. For the past eight years, Ndambenge Ndaura Moyo, Meza Music in Otinetse, Sakapandaga Lisa. Uh, the first three albums, it was difficult, it wasn't easy at all. So, in fact, uh, what happened actually, I got a job to South Africa. Uh, While in South Africa, Zinyongo did not release any album despite calls from his church members to do so. I don't do South Africa and don't want to the music at all. But uh, church, uh, so, when music South Africans, so when music to we want you to join our present worship. Uh, but at that time, I was busy in the bus, uh, and I was busy Upon his return, Zinyongo released a video which has become popular among gospel music fans. I pandaka zoka, ndaka sko record album. No wari ripo parishi no nzi gospel awa. Ndaka ita video iripo yajuni rugu zikamwa ni wajinji inonza Jesu Panjimbo. Gospel music lovers held the return of Zinyongo saying the musician is one of the best artists to image from Zimbabwe. And I found out this musician because uh, after eight years, uh, I've been looking up from him, but now I want to add to a video, I guess it's a good video. I found out to me, I found out to me, I gospel music. To spice up his latest album, Zinyongo collaborated with gospel diva Bethany Pasine Wako, who also features on the video. Chakati kapana Bethany, ndi chakuti ndaka sanga na nae, mshuri mbe kungenda zoko kwa South Africa. Saka, akati mkoma, you are still there. Ndika, no, my sister, I'm still there. Reporting for ATV in Arare, Zimbabwe. The annual school's cricket tournament has ended with a private school from Marundera town clinching the coveted Caps 2020 trophy. Robert Tafumane was there for ATV. The ninth edition of the Caps school's 2020 cricket ended on a high note at St. George's School with Peter House from Marundera being crowned the 2020 champion. The organizers said they are happy with this year's event as it had some international flavor to it with the participation of school cricket teams from the region. I'm very grateful to Cabs to sponsor for the ninth year and uh, we've had um, our 12 schools that we've um, invited, two of them from South Africa um, to participate this year and it's been incredibly, incredibly good. We've had good cricket, 
um, some very big upsets this weekend where some of the, the less fancied teams have come through and actually won or beaten some of the top teams. And uh, it's been really a great weekend of festival Calypso type cricket. A member of the organizing committee was also a bit about this year's cricket edition. It's been fantastic. I mean, we've had uh, uh, we've had three centuries so far, uh, a couple of five wicket hauls, uh, lots of sixes, lots of fun for the spectators, uh, and some really good entertaining cricket with nail biting finishes, which is I think what T20 is all about. The tournament saw teams being grouped in three pools of four teams each, and all in all, a total of 34 games were played. The schools play in, in three pools, uh, or four schools in each pool. There's 12 altogether schools. They play in uh, three pools, and the top, two, the top two teams in each pool go forward to a playoff series uh, where they then play amongst each, other's, uh, each other, and the top, the top four, four uh, schools in the playoff series make it through to the, the finals and semi, the semi-finals and then finals. St. George's and defending champions Churchill High School were the biggest upsets of the tournament. Well, we were, we were the recipients of uh, s- some of the upsets here. Yeah? Uh, Churchill um, ended up coming uh, fourth place. Uh, St. John's Harari beat them into, into fourth place. St. John's coming third. And St. George's came fifth. Uh, beating Loma Gandhi into sixth place. So it's been, uh, yeah, as I said, a, a, a few upsets a, along the way. But nevertheless, uh, you know, there's got to be winners and there's got to be losers. And that's how cricket works and uh, that's the nature of the game. Harare Giants and host St. George's has won the tournament a record five times. Reporting for ATV, Robert Avmane, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.